Today we get to take you into one of the fastest selling and top rated master plan communities in all of Houston, Texas. The number one reason that people love living in this area, one is the nature, the beauty, the trees, the lakes, the parks, but two, the proximity to downtown Houston. But what I wanna do is take you into one of the most unique floor plans that you will find in Houston, Texas. This house is absolutely stunning and JoJo's gonna get us right in. So here in the Groves, what we're gonna do is actually, JoJo's gonna get us into a floor plan. Now, if you've been following us on our channel, we've gone into a lot of Weston Homes and, and Toll Brothers, you name it. But this is a floor plan that you have not seen yet on our channel. JoJo, can you what get you us in? Absolutely, come on in, Jack. Whereabouts are we? What's nice about this community? Well, what's nice about it is that it's conveniently located off of the Beltway 8, which gives great access in any direction of Houston. And it's just not a massive place where, like some other communities. It's just very, you know, compressed as far as that goes, but gives you everything that, you know, you're looking for even in the bigger areas. Holy Jojo, so look at this. Make yourself at home, Jackson, as okay. usual. So, super. Super tall ceiling and the spiral staircase. You got the spiral staircase, the famous rotunda that this builder is known for. And people like that open where you can see upstairs. They like that you can see upstairs and then also the high ceilings and the open window concept with the kitchen and the living area. Look at the giant formal. Yeah. We don't see too many of those, Joe. You don't with see the too big, many of those tall... and even the detail in the ceilings here. Yeah, okay, let's see that kitchen. Big, tall, 20 plus foot ceilings, just like we're used to seeing. And then here's the kitchen right here. So big open space, but big this one space. you can see the upstairs. So imagine having just, you know, all the family and the kids running around here. It's like it's completely open. Okay, and then master on the main, Jojo? Yep, right over here. Okay. Greet you right past the kitchen. Last week I was wrong, I went into the wrong master. Ooh, look at those details. Yep, you got trade ceilings. Would you call that? Trade ceiling. Trade, what, do you got to trade to get these? You got to train to, to build it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, just have a look at it. I mean, it's, it's really nice. It's uh, got the soaker tub, walk-in shower, double sinks, walk-in closet. And as usual, as we see most places, the closet actually exits out into the utility room. We are noticing that a lot. Now you actually have kind of a double closet, but this goes right back out. And I keep showing my wife these uh, laundry rooms right next to the master and she says, we need one. So I think walls are coming out soon, Jojo. They're coming out? Yeah. I don't All blame right. you. Come out here, Jojo. I don't blame you. Put your coffee down, Jojo. Hey, man. <laughs> it's, it's, We're starting early today, okay? <laughs> it's July, it's like 150 yes, and you got coffee. It, that, that is true. What's available, what's coming here in the future for this development? Well, okay, so in the future in this development, some great surprises, which um, they have some anchor stores coming out here. Okay, so right here, this is what's left out in this section. So this is, this is it. This is closed out for this 60-foot section. The great news is, is that they do have some, the majority of them are ready and some under contract, but they've slashed the prices. This right here, this current incentive is the slash prices here. So this is somewhere in the low sixes to the mid six hundreds. Okay. And this is a 60 foot product? This 60 foot product. Four so that, to five bedrooms. Yes, yeah, so that gives you the four to five bedrooms, the 3,000 plus square feet. You know, usually caps out around 3,600 square feet. Now, what if you like this floor plan, but you know, the six is a little much. Do they have something new coming? They do. So it's not this particular product, but they have a 45 foot section that's coming and they're gonna be up to 2,700 square feet. But that comes at a new price point as well, which is gonna be in the fours. Drop me a comment down below. What do you think about that Weston home? I thought it was pretty unique and spectacular, but the thing about this area, when I first moved to Houston, Texas, I lived right down the street from the Groves, and there were so many times that I really thought about selling and moving in there because of you know friends, people that we knew were in there, and we would just go in there a lot. But the parks, we would actually go sneak in there and use their parks every once in a while. They're unbelievable. So now you've got incredible new build homes, schools, which I'm gonna show you here in a little bit. They are the craziest schools. And then lastly, I gotta show you into some of the homes that are actually available right now. But let's go check out this park. All right, so 
here we are at the very beginning of the groves. This is where it all started, Jackson. This was the original park, the splash pad area. And then right over there, you can't see too much will be over there, but that's where they set up bouncy houses. Actually, they even set up those big old uh, theater ones, or those blow up theaters. And then everybody out in the lawn watching a, a show. And then right past this is the rec center where they have the workout facility and everything else that they have like little uh, barbecue grills out there, gas pits. So check it out. It's really nice. It's Got a few kiddos out there running around right now. You play. gonna play a little bit, Jojo? <laughs> Absolutely, man. Look at this plager. I still got skills. You still got a little bit of leap in you there. Don't pull an Achilles now. We're in <laughs> that latter stage of life here. So a few of these throughout the groves. Again, very community-like. I don't really want to turn you around too much and show these kiddos, but this is the lawn area that he's talking about. And you can see there's doggy stations. There is concrete paths everywhere, swings. And again, Westlake Houston is just right outside of this. And through here, you can see there's residential neighborhoods, but you've got the workout. Oh, you got the workout facility here and that splash pad. So going to be a ton of community events here. And again, people love this Northeast section. A lot of the neighborhoods that are going to be surrounding this are going to be the older ones from 80s 90s they're just a little bit older so to have these master plan communities up in this very tree northeast section a lot more affordable than you know going up north to the woodlands is what the draw is here all right jojo so these are all in that 600 range but they are all sold out like this community is selling like hot cakes what is it that really has people you know wanting the grove so badly well one it's uh they preserve the nature of it yeah. so unlike a lot of subdivisions where they just scrape you know the land and then build and then add landscaping here they preserved a lot of the natural trees around it and what made it really appealing is the access to the beltway which gives people great uh, proximity to downtown Houston the medical center and also any plant workers that work off of the 225 area so it, it gives it you know great access to both points of interest for people to to be able to commute to work within that you know 30 minute yep to 45 minute uh, time frame. For me, one of the most shocking things is just how green Houston is. And that's what the groves has preserved as Joe's mentioned, but you get all of these lakes, which you're gonna see people fishing. You got the parks over there, a bunch of kiddos playing right now, all of the walking trails. And I mean, you can get lost in these trees. So it has kind of that woodlands feel to it. But yet again, you know, you're close to really all of the shopping and, and everything, and there's plenty more coming. But the most incredible aspect of here, we're coming up on. This is something that you have to see. Unbelievable. So this is a middle school, Jackson. I know, it's, when I saw this, I could not yeah. believe. And, and the elementary school is it's just... as much or more impressive. So this is what most master plan communities, when they say, oh, the schools are just a couple years out, they're modeling after this. The groves here, that over there is the Westlake Middle School. It is state of the art, it is massive. In fact, when we first moved here, we lived just right down the road over here and we would play a bunch of basketball games here with my son and go into that middle school. I couldn't believe it. I played college basketball and I never played in a school that nice with that many gyms. You have the park here and you have in Sparity, the whole baseball diamond here. There's multiple fields, huge park, and then a freaking elementary school the size of a university campus here. So these schools are already in place. Just right out here will be Westlake Parkway that'll take you down to Beltway 8 in within minutes. And then at the other end, you will also have all of the new shopping that's coming. So your grocery store, even though you have 1960, which is just right to the north within about three to five minutes, and that's gonna have your shopping centers, your targets, where my wife goes all the time, but the traffic down there can be brutal. Now they are building a new overpass, which is gonna help with that, but having your own grocery stores, everything in here self-sustained, and then just right outside of the development, actually just north of us a few minutes, is Atascacita High School. So nationally recognized for its sporting programs and academics. But yes, this is, I mean, something that you see, and actually right across here, you have the massive park systems, and they have almost every single week some kind of community event where everybody comes out and you get to meet the you know everybody and then you have a weekly farmers market which we used to come to a lot get homemade pastas ice creams you know foods whatever but this place is just it's crazy there is still a lot of development and I know what you're looking at online you know the property taxes are, are a touch higher here it just is we won't sugarcoat nothing here but these are selling out fast and it's just that proximity to Beltway 8, to get downtown, to Medical Complex, to wherever, and then you have the most top-notch schools that you will see in all of Houston, and then you're 360 degrees just surrounded by nature, trees, trails, uh, lakes. It is just a cool place to be. 
The Groves has been selling out like crazy, and I just got to be brutally honest. When you look online, you're going to notice some of the property tax rates are astronomically high. 3, 3.2, 3.3%. So they are actually pretty high when you compute those into the old calculator, but it is not stopping anybody from moving in here. In fact, it's one of the fastest selling master plan communities, but you may not have a actual idea of where we're at. And that's what I wanted to show you. So when you talk about proximity, here's downtown Houston. Okay. So a lot of these communities, you know, you Kingwoods, you know, obviously you've got the woodlands up here. They're so far away from downtown, but the groves, if you look at this main road right here, Madera run, that is all where the groves is now. We have a special for you next week. We're gonna go into Balmoral. That is the Texas first massive lagoon and you've gotta check it out. So subscribe so that you do not miss that video because we're actually gonna show some houses for 300,000 that are amazing in there. But again, you also are so close to downtown. Now, what I wanna really highlight is that you're in the groves here and as you've seen, beautiful trees, looks like the woodlands. It is gorgeous, hiking trails, parks, you name it but you have all of the shopping and anything that you could want, you know, really in your backyard. So at the end, we're gonna show you the brand new shopping that's coming in here that has been highly anticipated. But if you go right down here on Lockwood, which from this end right here to, to Beltway 8 is maybe two to three minutes, right here you've got an absolutely massive new complex going in. This is actually where my wife and I love going. Uh, it's called Boca Italian food right here. And this whole area is going to turn into basically a woodlands. It already has the dicks and all that stuff down here and all of your major shopping. Plus along West Lake Houston, you do as well. And right up here, this is 1960. Basically anything you could ever want shopping wise you have. So you are surrounded by it, but when you're in the groves, you hear none of it, you see none of it, and it is just all nature. Now, there's not a lot available, but there are some amazing floor plans and there is a special house that is left and we are gonna take you into it. But again, you gotta see these parks because if you're gonna be moving there and you want to leverage all of these trails, you just gotta see it. Yeah, so let's check this area out, the community center. A lot of events happen out here, Jackson. And what's really nice about it is that I feel like every community has its little thumbprint. And what this one has is like for this area that overlooks this water area with the walkway and breezeway, a lot of people just sit out here. That's why you see these chairs out here. They lounge out even for like 4th of July. People start popping their fireworks everywhere. You see it all going going off. And actually we're in July. Actually tomorrow's 4th of July. Woo! Yeah, so you have an entertainment area out here. They'll set up tents out here. Every single Thursday, they have a marketplace out here. What'd you buy there, Joe? What do I buy here? Yeah, pasta. Hey, every now and then I come in and I buy some of this. Uh, one lady has this uh, special of uh, olive oil. That's really pure stuff. I, we love getting that stuff because it, it just, it worked. You know, we just love it. Sizzle up them steaks. That's right. <laughs> So you have the fireplace area and what it is is that every time every seasonal event that they have out here is hosted right here in the area so even like even during the christmas time they'll have santa come out out here take pictures for the community like i said you have the marketplace fourth of july is a big event out here and then right past this fireplace over here you have the community pool but what makes this area so unique is you see the walkway and path over here jackson it goes in between these trees that they preserved out here. This isn't the only place. When they first started the community, there's a park where they host a lot of events out there too. And that's where the weight facility is, entertainment as well. And then you have a bunch of little pocket parks throughout the community as well. Look at my guy Jojo just nailing his lines here. No, no lines, we just roll. But yes, this was one of the shocking things about coming out here. You know, my wife and I were touring here and we actually, with the kiddos, we took the bikes and just rode around and to see, you know, all the trails and even out here today in July, it's hot. We have just been seeing people utilize these trails and, and because you get a lot of shade from the trees, but you do have, you can see the big old fish rising out there. You'll, you know, constantly see a lot of kids lining these ponds, doing the fishing, getting them out of trouble. And as you can see across the way, man, how pretty are these houses? all brand new construction. And that's what we're gonna keep showing you guys is what the actual houses look like here in the groves. Oh. oh. <laughs> Get outside. Get outside, Jojo. Make it happen. There's Jojo sitting on the job again. So show them some more homes, Jojo. It's actually not that bad out here right now. Hey, did you know they got their own little Little free library, come get you a book, Joe. That's everywhere. So what it is, is uh, people that have extra books at home, you can come drop your books off and someone else can come take them, so. Love it. All right, so here we are at another builder here in the Groves community. 
Shea Homes. This home, Jackson, it took off like wildfire. And what I wanted to explain too, it's not just that for this community, but it's happening everywhere. We go in, all the lots are pretty much built out. You see the little red dot bubble, sold, 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 and you're looking for that green one that's available. And so when we go in, there's gonna be more solds and very few available. So it's that much more important to reach out because Houston being so far and so wide on commutes from all the way from Conroe all the way down to down South Pearland, that's a lot of commuting to come to find out you only have three lots available in an area that works for you. So this is what we do. We make sure we find out what's available at this time. It's 2023 20, July, and a lot of these homes are selling out. And so we got to find the new hot places. But if you're looking for something now, there is opportunity to get it. If it's not, then what we can do is look at resale because there's still a lot of current recent resale properties that are out here. So this is the newest section that's currently being built out like crazy. And this is the typical home that you do see out here, the average home that uh, a lot of the consumer likes to come in and purchase. As a matter of fact, Jackson. Show me. See all the red right here? Yep. That's exactly what I was just uh, talking about. Mm -hmm. And what that means is sold. So look, here's your available lots. One, two, three. Actually, they put a sold on that one. They didn't even have time to change it red. Gotcha. And so this, that's a typical scenario in a lot of these suburbs. That's why there's certain ones that we highlight that are in the beginning stages that do have a lot of availability. The good news is, is here's the final finished thing out in these communities. So you see it. And then some of the new ones that we've been in where it's just dirt, th this is the vision of a lot of these communities. But don't be disappointed. There is a lot of opportunity. And that's what we do is we go out and sift and sort through all these communities and bring what's available. As a matter of fact, even this month, our team has helped so many people go under contract on new construction homes in this same exact scenario. All right, so yeah, this is the main thing, the high ceilings, the open kitchen. And as you saw when we walked in, you had that modern white brick with the black trimmed windows that everybody's looking for in today's market. And again, what this product gets you is in the mid 500s. Another thing that a lot of our clients move and relocating, you do have that separate, almost mother-in-law quarter down here with a full bathroom down on the main level as well. But this has these massive ceilings and we gotta check the upstairs. So just heading out of that house, you can see, you know, all of the new development going and the new section right over here. So this is where a lot of it's going. But again, being a parent of three littles, crazy ass littles, this is what I really like. No matter what section of houses that you go to, you're going to have almost some kind of little micro park. You're also going to have sidewalks. This is going to really help you to allow these kids to just get outside and go play. They can just cross right over the street. They're gonna have a lot of friends out there and just keep them busy, you know, wear them out a little bit. Might've had to slip my kids some melatonin last night because he wouldn't settle down. But that's what's nice about, you know, these areas and they're just very peaceful and tranquil. Again, just surrounded by all of these trees and nature. And then, you know, minutes from everything that you need shopping wise and commute wise. And lastly, to finish it off, obviously you have Generation Parkway and you have all of that, but that's still 10 plus minutes away. This right here will be right in the groves as you can see the sign. And I do remember moving here, you know, years ago and everybody talking about being so excited about this because this is gonna bring a lot of high-end restaurants. It's also gonna have its own, you know, H-E-B right here grocery store and they are actually now building it. So everything is compact right into the uh, trees there, which you can't even see the homes, it's beautiful. And now you'll have all of these shops, restaurants, grocery stores to be completely self-sustained now. So this bad boy is coming soon. And if you call the Groves home, then you're gonna be able to enjoy this sooner than later. Now, if you're wanting the Northeast section, but you don't really mind being a little bit farther away and you do want a can't miss top suburb of Houston, Texas, you have got to watch this full vlog tour right here. I might be a little biased because it's the best.